uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so let's solve this very interesting uh, interview question so this is a circuit uh, based on op amp and rc with a uh, current source and here this op amp is ideal okay this is the ideal op amp that means the gain dc gain is infinity bandwidth is infinity uh, and like offset is zero and so on okay and input and output impedance is uh, like input in impedance is infinity and output impedance is zero like every aspect the op amp is ideal okay and what is the supply rail for this so let's say v minus vss and plus vdd is infinity plus infinity to minus infinity okay so this is uh, ideal with every aspects so now we so we have a current source like this and we need to plot what is the v out at this node and what is the vs across this current source okay so how we can solve this so okay so this is a current source so first of all uh, for a op amp based circuit we generally uh, see if the circuit is in negative feedback or not so for negative feedback what we do we uh, deactivate all the independent sources and find the loop gain and then see if the loop gain is negative then our circuit is in negative feedback right but this is a pretty simple circuit so i am not going to write any loop gain equation or anything to find the loop gain so what we will do so i can see this will be open circuit right so we can see this is the negative terminal and the output is fed back to the negative terminal as well right so we can directly uh, tell the circuit is in negative feedback okay so for negative feedback what do you know so we can use virtual short concept right so for if the if the output of the op amp is not saturated and the op amp is ideal and there is a negative feedback so we can directly use virtual short concept right we can use virtual short concept directly so virtual short concept means this v plus and this v minus will be at same potential so v plus equals v minus that means this node is and this node are same so if this is ground 0 volt so this node is also 0 volt okay right so now so v let's say this is v plus okay so v plus is 0 volt right now and v like this this node voltage is always ground 0 volt right so now that a cap current is flowing like this so it has three path one path two path and three path right as this is the ideal op amp uh, ideal current so, so this current has to be passed by some manner but this is the ideal op amp so no current can go through that branch so all of the all of the current has to flow through this rc but what do you think what is the current through this rc is this constant or not like the all of the current is flowing through rc or not it is not right because this is a uh, this is a kind of uh, step signal from here right step up from here and step down from here so you can see uh, as the time increases the capacitive imp impedance is also depending on that time or the frequency right for the capacitive impedance so we can directly see uh, tell the current through this uh, inductor uh, current to the capacitor is not constant so we cannot so the voltage across the capacitor will not be a linear right we know if the current through a uh, capacitor is constant so then the uh, voltage across the capacitor becomes a ramp right but in this case this is not happening so this is a normal first order rc circuit so charging of the capacitor must be exponential right because uh, the cost current is constant there is no impulse of current so output voltage of the capacitor cannot change instantly right the voltage across the capacitor cannot change instantly like that okay so the uh, charging will be exponential for sure okay but how much it will take so we know the rc time constant um, uh, ma, ma, like uh, the time let's say tx for that the current is i naught must be greater than uh, uh, very uh, at least five times greater than rc so that the rc can fully charge right fully charge means i am saying that if we have like this so if five rc let's say this is tx so 5 rc uh, uh, like for the 5 5 rc it will it can be like that right if the rc is very very less if the rc is very very less, so the charging is not 
we will not be like that so it will be like that right okay what i am saying is uh, do this correctly so let me draw the picture so how, what i am telling was so this is our i not like i signal and this is t1 this is t2 and tx is nothing but t2 minus tx okay so eventually so this is r this is c so eventually this capacitor is going to charge right and this voltage is always grounded so the vc has to be increased right vc has to be increased due to this current source constant current source uh, flowing through this uh, like a, a current is flowing through this uh, capacitor so vc has to be increased right but this node is grounded so what about this node so this node has to be decreasing order right so that the vc becomes increasing in exponential form so this node must be exponentially decreasing okay because this node is grounded due to this negative strong negative feedback okay strong negative feedback this node is grounded so that node has to be exponentially decreasing so that the vc can be increasing exponentially okay but how much it will go so what is the maximum like the minimum of v out it can go like this so this is the v out and this is the vc okay so v out so after some time after this steady state this capacitor becomes open circuit okay so open circuit means this so all of the current has to flow flow like this through the resistance right but like is this true because no current can go through that branch but can any current can go through that op amp output yes because we know the op amp model is like that so this is vd and this is a times vd so this is a uh, dependent voltage so, so any current can go through that branch right so this branch is nothing but that branch so this branch is nothing but that branch so this i not current can go, flow through this op amp internally right through, through like that okay so this is okay so what is the max uh, minimum of v out it can go so this is the I, ir drop right so if this is r and this is i so there will be a normally ir drop so this will be plus this will be minus this is ir drop right and this is grounded so this will be minus ir okay right so v out can go v out can go okay So v out can go like that so it is first of all it was previously zero right up to that t on so up to t on the current was zero so current was zero means this is a zero current so this is open circuit and this node voltage is zero so this node voltage has to be zero but as there is no charging and discharging happening so i r drop will be zero so output will be zero right because this this is negative feedback right and this ground is present so this ground will reach here okay so output will be zero up to that okay now here from here the output is going to decrease exponentially like that and this is our tx and we are assuming tx is are sufficiently larger than rc okay okay uh, okay now what will happen so now after t2 after t2 the current again becomes zero okay the current becomes zero but here we have a uh, my okay so what is the value of this so this is minus ir okay this voltage is minus ir so i not r okay minus i not r now what will happen so the capacitor is charged uh, uh, in this way okay let me now the capacitor is charged like this to ir and as this node voltage was grounded 
and there is a current of like that and this is grounded so now so this current is open right now after t2 t get a t2 so there is no charging of cap but it can discharge the capacitor can discharge through this r right the capacitor voltage can be discharging can discharge through this r r right resistance so how do you think what will happen so this node voltage is always fixed to due to this negative feedback this is zero potential so there is no current pushing uh, into the capacitor so capacitor cannot charge mode but it can discharge through this resistance okay because it is getting a resistive path to the ground right from to the ground ground or not like it, it can it can it, it is it, it is having a path of r so that it can discharge okay so how do you think what will happen so this node potential like the voltage vc vc is nothing but ir vc is nothing but ir so this potential this potential voltage across this uh, capacitor will discharging through this resistance so how do you think how how it will discharge so it will, again it will discharge exponentially okay the vc again discharge exponentially so if this is discharging so how about this node so this node will increase in exponentially because this node potential is always at zero potential okay so if this potential is fixed but this vc has to be decreasing so this node voltage must be increasing exponentially okay so eventually this will be looking like that okay so this time this time can be calculated in the uh, like if you do some mathematical things okay i am not going to do that here so this will be the your final waveform and let's say let's say uh, this is your thing and this is t3 and i am assuming t2 minus t1 equal to t3 minus t2 okay so this will be your final waveform and the nature is exponential okay this nature is exponential so now what about the vx so we can see the v plus node is always at ground okay whenever the current of uh, current source having i not current or zero current that is not essential to us uh, to make any differences at vx voltage right eventually this node potential is always zero and this node potential is always zero so the vx remain always zero so this is also uh, like uh, characteristic of ideal current source because a ideal current source can have any potential across it right with a constant current right so this is ib characteristics of ideal current source so the current source is also happy and the negative feedback is also happy so the so the vx is nothing but zero potential every time okay so vx is zero vx is zero potential every time okay right now because vx is nothing but vx is nothing but uh, z, uh, zero minus v plus so zero is grounded and vx is also ground due to this negative feedback right so this will be zero potential so this is a pretty good question okay and i think i have shared almost uh, every insights of this circuit okay so first of the, first of all so the charging cap of the cap cannot be uh, linear or ram right so this is the one thing and how much it can charge and how will it get charged and how will get discharged so i have shown everything so this charging can be happening like this right the current can go through their branch but there is no current can go through so you think the output the output node can carry uh, 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 like any amount of current right because this is the ideal voltage control voltage source so this is the thing okay so you can uh, give your valuable feedback thank you